So John Pike, you're with the Talent Genius. Uh, we started maybe six, seven months ago with our relationship. And um, why don't you just sum up for us? You're a sales trainer. I mean, not a sales trainer. How would you describe yourself? What are you? Well, I'm a consultant that helps specialize in helping organizations grow world-class sales organizations. And I do that by using a scientific, time-tested process that takes all the frustrating guesswork out of knowing if the person that you're hiring is the best person. Now, that is a best, much better answer than I could ever give. Very wonderful. So you, um, you help find the right talent for the team. You're the talent genius. You're very good at that. Right. So you've been working with us for how long? Well, it's been just before, probably around, I think, April, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that's been April, May, June, July, August, September, October, about seven months. Right. Why don't you just sum up the results that you've seen from this? Uh, it's almost hard to put into words candidly. When we met, as you know, just as a little backstory, my website at the time had been cyber attacked and taken down. I had no website. I had no marketing. You created a completely one-off website, a blog, mm -hmm. that has been an incredible breakthrough. The least favorite part of any entrepreneur or any business owner is prospecting and trying to find and convince people that you're good at what you do. You have completely reversed the funnel for me with your marketing plan and process and approach so that I have customers actually calling me instead of the other way around because they're at the point where they're ready to buy because we provide them with high value education. And you started your and business, at least this, the business we worked on, you started from scratch. We didn't started have any customers. from scratch. And how many customers did, do you have now? We are almost up to 70 customers. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember that the first thing that we worked on is I did a keynote. Um, Glenn Beck was the open, Barbara Corcoran was the, the middle, and I was the closed keynote at an event. Yep. I signed 17 customers on the spot, and since then it has grown you know, substantially. And you did uh, all of that without any, any outbound calling or prospecting? Only when someone responds to me or someone, yes. Which is lead, have, which is lead follow up. So you did lead follow up, but there was no cold I, calling trying to pound down and get someone's attention. I have actually not done nearly as much lead follow up as what I should. In fact, uh, for those of you that are listening, when Frank tells you to call people who have actually <laughs> watched a video, yeah. you should do that. Um, I'm very active in my in my children's lives with coaching volleyball, basketball. And, and other sports, and so I just haven't made that a priority, but I haven't had to. It's been the breath of fresh air. So just an idea for how you price for your services. I believe for the, the one time, a client right up front is about five grand to, to engage with you, and then you Correct. have a few hundred dollars monthly ongoing is the most part for your business model. So that's Correct. pretty good. I mean, to get someone to come into you and to hire you to pay that kind of money is, is fantastic. So why don't you tell me, let's step back a little bit, and I'm going to kind of go through the story of our experience together. So someone who can watch this can really learn, like, will this work for me? Like, sure. they may be in a different industry. They may not be. We have a lot of real estate clients here at Viral Marketing. You're obviously in the uh, the, the, the talent acquisition business. Right. So why don't you tell me, what were some of your fears or your concerns before you wrote us the check? As you know, Frank, no matter what it is, there are so few people today that can deliver on what they say they're going to do. So fundamentally, we've all been there. We're all there every day making decisions. Should I or shouldn't I? I was at the point where I didn't want to do any of the marketing. It's not what I do well. It's not the best utilization of my time, effort, and talent. And I knew I wanted to outsource it. The only fear I had was will this person be able to live up to which is a fear that, uh, you know that everyone is going to have mm -hmm. so you started making your videos what were some of the aha moments that you had when you started actually doing some of this marketing some skepticism you overcame overcame aha moments what were those well here's the thing i've known and actually have been teaching the model that you are implementing which is not that code calling is basically useless that you want to provide education and that you want to, it's, it's called permission-based prospecting. They consume some information that you provide that's of value to them, that's useful and beneficial, and then they contact you on their timing when they have a need. Mm -hmm. So I've known that and been teaching that, but I've actually never been really able to apply it. That's the key. 
So you have you've revolutionized my life from the standpoint of lead generation because I provide very good content with your help. People watch it and people buy not on our timing but on their timing. Now you so started you started from I, scratch though. I mean, how big is your email list? A hundred people? I didn't even have ten people, Frank. I mean, that was but, part of that was part of the thing. You said, John, you got to develop an email list. I said, well, I don't have one. Well, we said, well, we'll help you. And so I started literally from scratch. From scratch. And I. What's that? Yeah, you started from scratch. I mean, most people be like, well, I only have a couple hundred people, or I only have a thousand people in my database. I mean, you literally had zero. I had zero. Yeah. And so I don't mind sharing. I just saw my statement the other day. Um, I have invoiced on the credit card. Um, over two hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars year to date, starting from scratch. Starting from got, scratch, and you got your you got your head start by you got it good exposure to speaking event. But while you're there, you're asking for email addresses, you're asking to stay in touch. You put those right. people on the list, and then when you had success stories, and we interviewed right. the success stories, we right. asked those people, your clients, to share it with the people they knew. Right. And that's how it went a little more viral to get the word out. You know what? You're not going to like me again for this, but I haven't even done that part. I haven't even asked my clients to send it out to their – I haven't done that yet. You haven't even done that? I mean, and you're not, even, call, you're not even calling the people that watch the videos or any of that part of the viral marketing plan? You know, again, you're going to rake me over to Kohl's. This could be a lot more successful yeah. than, than even what it is right now, but to, to develop a multi-six-figure business in less than eight months is mind-blowing, really. In a, in a new segment. Well, um, let's put that in where perspective you, for someone watching this is that you found, you got, out, you saw the opportunity of a need, a starving crowd. Here's people that need food, right? right. They need the help. Right. They have the problem. And you came in with the right message at the right time with right. the trust and that aligned. And that's what um, is great. That's that's fantastic. What now? Here, here's the other thing. If you don't mind me mentioning, Frank, mm -hmm. this is this is all you. This is your insight. Where you say, okay, John, what we want to do is we want to take some of your actual clients. We want to interview them. We want to hear their story mm -hmm. because they are a peer of your market. They are going to listen more to you or to them than they are to you, and it's their results and how you're delivering incredible results to them that's really going to make the difference at the end of the day. So I told you to stand back. So you're used to being a speaker and being the guy. I said, wait Absolutely. a minute. Let's just step back and let's get them to say it. That's exactly right. And that changed the game by having them say it as opposed to having you say it. That's exactly right. They're mm -hmm. going to they're gonna trust again one of their peers in terms of the results who's experiencing the same exact challenges that they are and these and their and now my clients are having all these breakthroughs so with viral and, marketing how much time does all this take is this a time drain to do viral marketing how much time do you put into all this oh that is probably the single best godsend of all um, other than doing this these one once a month hourly calls and a couple of uh, educational videos that's it I'm saying maybe five hours and, and you, you do know, a lot more content than most. We've been so we teach at the viral marketing plan is you sit down once a month, twenty minutes, you cut two quick videos. Right. But you had so many great client success stories and you were in a market niche, we put it on steroids a little bit and we started doing live events like on this Google Hangout. Like we just got right. done with a one hour hangout where we basically hung out for an hour talking business, which was awesome. Yeah. And yeah. then we got those out. But the only thing you do is you show up and you shoot your videos and we even kind of coach you and give you ideas on those topics, right? Absolutely. Now, did I say I said five hours a month? A month. Not five hours a week. Mm -hmm. Five hours a month. And for someone and who so just like gets started, said, it's probably only about thirty minutes. Right. And so I've incriminated myself by saying that you know, just based on the amount of time that I have had to allocate to this, I haven't done as much follow up as I should have. And you know, I know that. That's and I'm okay with that because, um, again, I've got a very good quality of life right now. I'm not under any stress or pressure, which is so fantastic. You know, to go out there and to push or pedal or try to, you know what I mean? That whole heavy lifting exercise of trying to convince somebody. It's now, was that, was that hard for you coming from a background of grinding it out to step oh. back and start making videos? <laughs> no, kind it's, of, it's no? easy. Look, I've got a, a laptop in front of me with a cam. It just takes, we're talking just like I'm, I'm in, the, in the next, in the same room with you. It's not mm -hmm. hard at all. In fact, you know, 
I used to be basically combating indifferent, apathetic executives who didn't want to hear my story, who've had bad experiences with people that do something similar to what I do, who believe deep down that it doesn't work. That's like pushing a huge boulder uphill all day, every day. Who wants that? That's great. This is, what, this is totally transformational. What advice could you give to someone to be successful on this type of a marketing plan? The building a database creating educational content to stay in touch and then you just got business from that but then prioritizing your phone call follow-up your lead follow-up with the people that are interested in watching and engaging with your stuff the people watching the videos what advice could you give to someone who wants to be successful no matter what industry that they're in okay i'm going to mention a quote the difference between average income and extraordinary income is fast implementation now you say what do you mean by that if you're going to go ahead and pay Frank and invest, which I highly recommend, it would be the best, one of the best decisions you ever make to outsource your marketing because they are experts. It's a system and a process that works over and over again. But the key is, is that we have to be coachable and do the action items that he asks us to do. And again, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. You did my blog in record time no, just because you're so good at what you do. You spent a lot – well, you, I mean, you the still whole spent website, a lot of time I think, on took it. maybe what, two, two weeks to 30 days, we say, for a whole website? I mean most people for websites take a, a year. Absolutely. And we got yours done in about a month. So yeah, you going. took my message. You took my message and took everything. You created the banner, the, the everything, the, 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 the ad copy. I blessed it. It was up. It was basically you know, within like – I don't know. You worked on it personally. You did it yourself because mm -hmm. it was outside of your typical business. So whenever we have a client, I want to say this to anybody. Whenever we have a client that we don't – our marketing plan works in all industries. Anyone can build a database, send educational content out, and then prioritize their phone call follow-up. That plan is, transcends all industries. But you came to us, and our firm didn't quite know exactly what maybe your USP should be, your call right. to action. Maybe we mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the positioning. And whenever we right. have a client that – we haven't gone through that process before. I personally work with you to get you onboarded. Right. That's what we did. So for those of you that are listening, um, you know, Frank is a master mind at being able to find out what is the most compelling message right, for you in your industry and in your market, and he will deliver you know, the copy that you need that gets the level of interest that, that you deserve. And uh, so like I said – uh, I could have done probably 2x what I've done up to, you know, to date, but Frank, let's look at it. In less than eight months, um, it's it's unreal. It's unreal what's happening. So let so, me ask you this: So someone gets in, wants to get involved with viral marketing. Well, what's the return on investment? Now I know the reaction is going to be, well, we built the whole what, multiple six-figure business from scratch in what six, seven months or something, and that should be enough. Right. And this is the only marketing right. that you've done, right? Right. But how would you even measure return on investment for something like this for someone that maybe – how would you answer that question? Oh, my goodness. Is very few times in your business career when you can truly have peace of mind. And to have that peace of mind to know that someone has your back, that their word is their bond, and that they are delivering in a compelling manner, you can't put a price tag on that. I suck at marketing. I am a master salesperson and a speaker, but marketing is not my forte, so I knew I needed an expert, okay? and that's you and your firm. So total peace of mind. Uh, the return, I'll tell you what it is. It's quality of life. It's me not having to worry that I need to bring in X amount of clients in the next 30 days um, and to take away time from my family. I've got three young kids, 12, or 13, 11, and 6. And I spend a lot of time with them, more than most dads. I work from home. I do it intentionally. I coach a lot of their, their sports um, after hours, and I do that because it's a passion of mine. So you are literally allowing me to do more of what I love, and um, I'm still going to be able to grow this business exponentially, and it's, it's still my passion as far as my career is concerned, but family for everybody should be first. And so it's going to provide me with the lifestyle – that you don't really have to struggle because you know what? In my business, it's about a typical 12-month to 18-month turnaround, and then once you've done everything that you can do as it relates to sales training anyhow, mm -hmm. 
um, they basically either move on or it just really winds down. Uh, so this is something that is sustainable, and your brilliant model, you know, it's a basically a subscription model where there's uh, based on how many people you have in the firm. It's an upfront fee accordingly, yeah. and then it's a monthly fee. So for the ongoing services, you'll be, you'll be a, a client forever with this model. It's like Warren Buffett likes you know chocolate businesses that are ice cream or things that don't need lots of innovation or thought that you just do that work over over time. You know, like Warren Buffett likes you know businesses that sell paint. You know, there's nothing right. really new in paint. You know, maybe some colors, right. but viral right. marketing is like that where it's the same consistent system delivering predictable and duplicatable results over and over. And by constantly publishing this content over and over, you're going to get that result. I have one last question for you. I really want you to think sure. about this one. Mm -hmm. Mindset shifts or different ways of thinking about your business, just because, again, I want to go deeper here. We have a lot of people that have a hardcore, grinded out sales methodology, which is fantastic. And that's the mm -hmm. foundation where you need to be because that's what teaches it. to speak with people, go out, talk to people. You got to have that, right? But then – when you start getting in this whole database marketing and video and online marketing, all these things, you probably have to challenge some beliefs maybe. Were there any that you had to like, is this really going to work? Or is this just like, this makes lots of sense because I've been exposed to so much of this already. Yeah. The, the advantage that I had going into this, Frank, is that um, I probably have taken more courses and attended more conferences on marketing and no, um, the majority of the big names out there and here's a, again something that's a huge uh, kudos to you is your price point is so reasonable um, you know I have paid or invested you know ten thousand dollars for one day in a couple of instances to go and hear people who are experts in what they do and uh, your whole investment for a year is just north of that and you have provided me with so much unbelievable value that you know my website my educational all my follow-up uh, access to you when I need it mm -hmm. uh, it's just been it's just been almost something I can't even put in words but I guess I know already since I'm a student of training and development right and, and mentoring and coaching the power of marketing. So that when it, so you didn't have much it, of that breakthrough because you've been exposed to a lot of education based right. service oriented, you know, you wanna create marketing worth paying for to people to receive. And you've been a teacher, you've been a trainer, you knew a lot of that already. Okay. I just wanna I just wanna see if there's any breakthroughs there because a lot of times it's like I had blinders on to grind it out. And I was so skeptical about this working because it sounds too good to be true. And then it does. It was like it just it just incredibly impacts your mind. And it, what was interesting is that you've exposed yourself to some of that training. Is there any training? One last question, just because this yeah. is this is really good. Is there any training someone you can recommend where they could go to learn more about how to be successful at viral marketing? Because you've taken some of that already. Books, tapes, CDs, seminars, people, I don't care. Let people know. Uh a guy that is very good, um, and w when I went to his conference, we actually had an opportunity to meet when I mm -hmm. was there in San Diego, yep. is Mike Keenigs. I've learned a lot from him. Mike Keenigs is a, is a visionary. He has the ability to kind of see things before they happen, and um, he has provided very valuable insight, but the missing piece – it's not enough to just know it yourself or be exposed to it. It's to have somebody actually pull the trigger and do the work for you. And that's what Frank and Viral Marketing will do. So although I may have had some of the knowledge and, and was exposed to all these incredible success stories and know that this model and methodology works without question, it's a matter of do I have the time and the wherewithal to be able to sit down and learn it all and be able to execute it all myself? The answer is no. Mm -hmm. I did, and that's not something I want to do because that's not what I'm passionate about. You ever heard of Chet but Holmes? I have. Yeah, he teaches in his ultimate sales machine the concept of education-based marketing. I would give, if anyone's watching that, check out Mike Koenigs. He's fantastic. Um, as well as uh, Chet Holmes. He worked with Tony Robbins and actually with Warren Buffett, a partner, Charlie Munger. Right. So right. they no, knew a lot about that consistent residual stuff. He's definitely stuff. another very, very great resource. 
but again, Frank, what I like about you is that uh, the difference between, again, ordinary in income and extraordinary income is fast implementation. If you don't implement, you're not going to go anywhere. You could have the best ideas, the best methodology, the best systems and processes and tools to make it happen, but if you don't actually do it or have other people do it for you, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And that fundamentally is the breakthrough that I have had is because now I have a go-to team and yourself that, that have my back that are doing all this for me. It takes a very limited amount of my time uh, to prepare for this call. I printed out some of these, you know, this, this, this some of these things. So if people this is the hangout we just completed. And it was, yeah, it was, yeah, a, a call that we just completed, an hour-long call that we just completed. Um, it was all off the top of my head because listen. Whatever we do for a living, we're experts at it. We don't need scripts or anything like that. You just talk from the heart, and that's the great part about this. You just be authentic and be transparent. Let people know what you do, how it works, what the outcomes are. Have clients that basically tell that story for you while you're interviewing them, and it'll be a life changer for you. That's, that's, all, that, that's it in a nutshell, Frank. Well, John, thanks a lot for your kind words. I appreciate it as a client, and hopefully someone can learn from this and – to help better understand what it would be like to come work at our firm and get your marketing done and help you grow your business. And God, if they're as successful as you are, they're going to be one happy camper. So kudos Absolutely. to you, John. Uh, thanks. You made it all happen.